Did you know that one of the easiest ways to reduce your PCI scope is to have your customers enter their own card data? At Chargent, we wanna make it as easy as possible to process payments safely and also help you lower your PCI scope. And this is exactly why we offer our payment request feature. Payment request enables you to send pay links to your customers. Your customers in turn, they simply click the link and securely enter their payment data online. Your team never sees nor hears the card number and that decreases your PCI scope. You can also automate your payment requests to help streamline your collections process for decline transactions, but we explain all that in another video. So I do recommend subscribing to our channel so that you see that video. My name is Micaiah and I'm from Chargent. If you're a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn more about payments and make yourself a superstar in your organization, then you are in the right place. Our product team recently overhauled the setup process for payment requests. The setup has become extremely easy. We have given our payment feature a whole lot of love. And we listened to all of your input about exactly what was challenging. You just create that Salesforce site, walk through our payment request setup wizard, and that's it. We're gonna go over all of it right now. In this video, you're gonna learn how to set up and send a payment request in just five simple steps. And it should take you about five minutes. One thing that's gonna take you less than five minutes is downloading our checklist on 10 ways to make payments safe easy and profitable. Find the link in the description and download the checklist today. Step number one is create your Salesforce site. Now the site, that's what's gonna allow your customers who are outside of your Salesforce org to enter their card data and process the payment. To create your site, you're gonna follow these steps. From the gear icon, select setup. Now in that quick find box, start typing sites and select sites when it appears. Once on sites, click the new button. Choose the site label and a site name. And choose a name that allows you to easily identify it. And later you're gonna need that in your payment request setup. Under the default web address, you're gonna add a prefix. This will be the specific page where the site dedicated to your payment requests will reside. We recommend keeping it short, so maybe slash PR, slash pay, or just slash P. Finally, under active site homepage, use the magnifying glass and search for the word payment request. Now that's just all one word. Click the payment request link name, check the activate box and save. All right, site setup is complete. Step number two is configure your payment requests. This includes the payment methods you wanna accept, such as bank drafts and credit cards, along with an expiration time for all these pay links. To start, click the app launcher, you know, the waffle icon. Start typing Chargent and select the Chargent app. Once inside the Chargent app, click the Chargent settings tab, and then you'll find the sub tab for the Chargent payment request setup wizard. The first thing you wanna do is select that site that you just set up and then click next. For the configuration, you're gonna to wanna to select the payment types that you wanna accept. So did you wanna choose credit cards and bank accounts or just one of those two? Create payment request records for all orders. It's typically set to no, unless you know that that's a requirement of your implementation. You can always come back and change this later if you're looking to set up some automation around that. However, that too is a different video. So do remember to subscribe if you haven't done that already. Okay. Go ahead and click next, and that takes us to step three. Step three is to set up your payment request layout. This includes your welcome text, pay form placement, as well as uploading your company logo or your banner. Here, you can also set up your success, fail, and your cancel text. When you have your layout configured just the way you want it, go ahead and click next. Here, you can preview the layout if you like, uh, but do be sure to click that finish button so that we can finish the payment request setup for you. Step number four is that you're gonna need to add the Chargent Anywhere component to your page layout. And this is where you want your users to be able to send the payment requests to your customers. To add the Chargent Anywhere component, go ahead and navigate to any record on the object that you want to add the payment request button on. This is often your opportunity, your contact, your account, your case records, any of these. It's whichever object that you want to be able to associate the payment with. When you are on the record, click the gear icon and then click the edit page option. From here in the left column, go all the way down to where it says custom components 
And there, you're gonna find the Chargent Anywhere component. Go ahead and drag that onto your page wherever you'd like it to be. And then, be sure to activate the page and save. When you return to the record, you will need to complete the Chargent Anywhere setup by clicking the Configure button. This creates the relationship between the Chargent Orders object and whichever object you just installed Chargent Anywhere on. Go ahead and type understood in the box and click the Create Relationship Fields button. All right, step number five is test. This is possibly the most important step in this process. Click the Send Payment Request button that's right there in the Chargent Anywhere component, and you can either enter your email address or a contact record that's also related to your email address, as well as an amount, and then go ahead and click that Send Request button. All right, go ahead and head over to your email inbox, and over there, you're gonna find your payment request email. Click the payment link, enter your payment details. If you are using a production gateway, then you're gonna to need to use a real credit card. But don't worry, you can just go to the transaction and charge it and void it right after it's approved. You'll never see any money go off your card. If you are in the sandbox and you wanna use a test card, the one that's most popular is simply a four followed by 15 ones. It works on almost all gateways. I don't know that I've ever seen it not work. And when you click the pay button to process the payment, you will see your success page load and show you that you have a successful transaction. And that's it. You've set up and tested payment requests in five easy steps in likely under five minutes. And now I want you to check out this new video. My my name is Micaiah, and here at Chargent, we are dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep your payments simple. And remember, at Chargent, we are always here to help.